Hi. Guys, one, I have new hair. Two, look at these beautiful tulips. I love tulips. And three, I have a huge package from Glossier. And we're gonna open it together. I usually vlog every week. It's been like five days and I haven't even touched my camera, which was a nice little switch up, you know? And like when I'm in the process of getting my hair changed, I don't like to be on camera because I feel like when you first get braids done, like your hair literally is like this. And I just like don't, <laughs> I don't want to be seen like that. Even like right now, I'm like honestly not a huge fan, but it's, it's getting a little more messier, a little more my vibe, you know, I'm starting to feel it a little more. But anyway, it is a Saturday afternoon. I just got back home from Coffee with a Friend. I'm so frustrated with LA because yesterday it was 80 degrees Fahrenheit and today it's literally 50 and the sun is nowhere to be found. And I'm just like, can we get some consistency? Cause this is triggering me. I've just been in a mood, but maybe I'm starting my period or something. When you're a woman, you can blame everything on that. Oh, also, guys, I got a bean bag. I don't know why, I just feel like a bean bag is like what my room has needed this entire time. And ever since it's been here, look how cute she is. My quality of comfort and coziness I truly didn't think it could get any better, but it has. Um, okay, but anyway, let's open this package because to be quite honest, I'm just moody right now. I don't even really feel like talking to the camera. So we're just gonna, we're gonna open things up. I'm actually so excited to try all this. Like, you guys know I'm not a makeup girl. I'm really not. But because Glossier is Glossier, I have to try. I'm excited most about this blush, their cloud paint. Genuinely, I'm feeling a little bit overwhelmed. This is kind of a lot. You know, maybe we can later on in the vlog try all of this on together. Mm -hmm. Second time leaving the country. <laughs> okay, so tonight we're having... I always just wake up and just put myself on camera and then when i'm editing I'm, I'm like why did we do that why are we doing that to ourselves <laughs> good morning it's sunday and i woke up this morning in a mood too and i feel like i'm starting my time of the month honestly unsure <laughs> living with uh two other women is funny because our periods truly they have synced up together and so we're all just confused as to what date we are all on. It's a little chaotic. Basically, I woke up this morning just feeling really low. Um, you guys can probably tell, but I, um, I have been talking myself into get going on a walk like all morning. I really don't want to do it, but I'm going. I'm going to do it. from walk i'm still a little sad though time of the month mm, welcome so excited for that i'm going to go to church this morning for the first time in like six months so kind of pretending i'm not nervous about it i honestly am i'm going with a friend who already goes to this church so that obviously makes it a little more fun and chill i have five minutes so i'm like let's just put on some glossier um, really excited about cloud paint, which I already told you guys, and then apparently their boy brow is super good, which I can't find. Where did it go? Where did it go? 
Here's the thing guys, as you know I don't wear makeup. I never, I really don't. It has to be a pretty good reason to wear it. But honestly, I'm trying. I'm trying to get a little more professional in the way that I carry myself because sometimes I'll just show up somewhere like completely a mess and just not even, not even care, you know? But I was excited to try Glossier because you know, their stuff is pretty natural. I honestly don't even know what I'm doing. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna be over here and then I'll come back and show you guys the result. Cause I'm late. Okay, this is the concealer on my face, um, which I actually feel like woke me up a lot. I got the color, I don't know. Anyway, you know what, instead of talking about makeup, let's talk about something I actually know, which is like why I'm going to church this morning. Basically, I'm going to church because, just because I'm open. This feels so good, oh my gosh, it almost feels like lotion. Um, I'm open, that's all I'm gonna say right now and maybe later we can process. I'm sorry that the beginning of this vlog has been rather moody. I've just, I'm a moody girl, but as you can see, I'm getting better. I got a smile on my face. I feel good that I have plans to leave the house. That's the thing too with being single is like, you really gotta like transition into the whole self-sufficient space kind of just overnight. Like something that's hard for me in being single again is the fact that there's nobody there who's like just going to automatically make you feel better and who's gonna automatically kind of be your like plans for the day. I feel like when I'm in relationships, that person is like my bestie. It's like when you both don't have plans, you're hanging out with each other, um, which is just so sweet, you know? And when you're single, you gotta make the plans yourself or like you're probably not getting up and out for the day and that's been pretty challenging for me does this look good i honestly i can't really tell i also need to steam my pants in the next two minutes i don't know why am i always late and then when i'm also when i'm late i also do things like i don't know starting to vlog and it's like is that really the way that we should be doing this this is like an orange i don't know i'm supposed to you're gonna go like this. I'm really like, this could look, oh God. <laughs> if you watch my old vlogs, do you remember the one where I was in New York and I was going to a wedding? Oh my God, there's so much. I was going to a wedding and I hadn't done my makeup and so, this is getting, oh God. Anyway, I was going to a wedding and I had to put makeup on and I didn't even have makeup. Like I had to go buy some. And I was vlogging me putting it on and it was just a mess. And like, honestly, I think that we've made it a, a long way since that experience, but um, still a rookie. First of all, in love with this beanbag. Second of all, uh, my little garden outside is doing magnificent. Uh, I'm about to have so many little poppies bloomed and it's so cute. I'll show you guys. Look at all those nubs out there ready to turn it into little flowers. Like that right there is a little poppy coming and then all of these here. Look at these little babies. So many of them super excited to see what colors they all turn out to be because it will definitely be a cute little surprise but yeah i've journaled i don't know what i'm gonna do for the rest of the day i might go to yoga <laughs> when all else fails go to yoga i don't know why i always film with this lighting like i just look like an absolute like <laughs> pro tip ladies worker classes <laughs> chef's kiss Change my life. The thing with workout classes is like, they're around the clock. When you're feeling funky, go to workout class. You'll come out of there feeling like even me right now. I just ate a freaking cookie, a whole like s'mores cookie, and now I'm about to go to a hot yoga class. But the thing is that it'll feel bad for a little bit. Nicki Minaj. Yeah, But seriously, like something about a workout class, you just do it, it just zaps you back into shape. You get healthy, you get cute, your skin gets clearer, your body looks prettier, 
that's where I'm at right now. I'm like addicted. I'm so addicted to hot yoga because I just feel like it's like brought me back to myself. I feel like I have so much energy. I wake up so much earlier. I'm flexible. I get to wear cute little outfits. Like, okay, I need to go because I'm just playing around for no reason, procrastinating because I, I really don't want to go to this class right now. Last night, I just felt inspired and I've never mixed this bedding before. Like this duvet cover is from Brooklinen. I'm really used to linen, but this is really soft and it also just looks so like creamy, you know? But after trying like the yellow pillowcases with the green and then the white, I'm feeling it. This is so cute. I have not washed my face today. I am on my period. It's nice to know I'm not going crazy. I just am a woman, you know, I'm just a woman. I thought it would be fun to show you guys my favorite smoothie recipe for when I'm on my period because bananas are really, really, really good for you on your period because they have potassium. So we're gonna make a banana smoothie. my channel but life life in LA is so easy and let me explain this to you for example the sink just had some nasty stuff in it all I had to do is go press the garbage disposal I haven't had a garbage disposal in multiple years the dishwasher did I have a dishwasher in New York ever no ma'am hand wash dishes for five years of my life like people glamorize living in New York City, but truly to me it's the same as like people living on a farm like somewhere and their whole life is very difficult because they work for everything. That's what New York was like. It's like you go to the grocery store, you're like literally carrying like heavy bags all the way to the subway and then you're carrying them on the subway and then you're walking back home from the subway and then you're going up five flights of stairs because you decided to live on the fifth floor. And LA is just so... How do I explain? She is just like an easy girl. She is the easiest place that I've ever lived and I am so grateful. Okay, so uh, the key to an amazing smoothie, one, pistachio milk, two, strawberries, peaches, emphasis on peaches, almond butter, rose petals, uh, any supplement of moon juice. I put their pearl in it, which is good for hair, skin, and nails. Absolutely love. It's really good for calcium, so I put that in my smoothie. Mm. and oats all of this mm, chef's kiss to be a woman oh to be a bearer of life I have just been lying here literally just like this it's only six o'clock always like that breaking point where something starts to give and there's like a threshold that gets hit oh baby I decided 
instead of sitting here in pain, I could one, take Advil, and two, I could start painting. So we're gonna paint right now. Everybody say yay! Guys, I'm over this. Pain, we're in pain. Two, two it is. crusty babies they're kind of like beautifully dead weird maybe I love them <laughs> Session with Latin music is taking, it's just taking over. How can you not love this? How can you not listen to this and just like be smiling from ear to ear and dancing? <laughs> it actually makes me so happy. And here's the thing, I never know who any of these artists are. Like yesterday I was on my on the phone with a friend who lives all the way in Colorado and she was in a record store and I heard this really beautiful like Latin jazz playing in the background and I was like, please tell me what song that is. I'm obsessed with it. And so my deep dive into all things bossa nova, Latin-esque, just, it's getting deeper and deeper and I'm just so happy about it. It really makes me want to go to South America. Okay, I have a shoot this morning that I need to like be ready for in 30 minutes and I'm procrastinating so hard, mainly because the sun is not out and when the sun is not out, I, neither am I, neither am I. Oh, all my clothes hanging in the background, so ratchet. Okay, my PSA, ladies, gentlemen, if you know how to paint, you're doing the world a disservice by not doing it because there are people like me who have zero painting skill zero yet look at us making art so what's your excuse huh what's your excuse this looks like a fifth grader made it and i'm really proud and if i knew how to paint well i would take over the world with my skill so i don't know what you're waiting for okay if you know how to draw if you know how to sketch if you know how to I don't, I don't, if you even have good handwriting, like you are blessed, that's really not something that you can be taught and you need to take that skill and you need to do something with it. And if you aren't doing something with it, I'm literally mad at you. Cause look at this, again, look at this. This is what I made last night. <laughs> All right, I just got out of the shower and I've put some makeup on, we're trying again because the beginning of the vlog look was not a sleigh. It was not a sleigh. My lips have been very moisturized lately and it's because I was gifted the Rode Beauty lip peptides. I got a few things from them, which I can show you guys in another vlog because I don't have time right now. But this stuff is actually so good. Like I'm not one to believe the hype about things, but Miss Haley Bieber, ma'am, this is actually so good. Lips held you know what i mean like you're just not biting my lips i'm not like dealing with dry skin this is my final look i think i need to like do my edges and put on earrings and look look alive i think i look good though honestly can't tell never can tell what you looking for we got what you looking for <laughs> we're kind of matching this sweater look at myself tan there. <laughs> I can't see look at the light. oh there we uh -huh. go they're like i'm blocked <laughs> if you guys are wondering where Mads has been, she's right here. What do you have to say to them? I'm getting Thai Den Fun for myself tonight for Valentine's Day because I love myself. Here by myself. No. What you looking for? We got Thai Den Fun for you right. on Valentine's Day. Right. The dumplings place. Yeah, yeah. 
How was your I shoot? I love some dumplings. My shoot was freezing. Oh. They had me in summer clothes in 50 degrees. And the sun Downtown. was out. Downtown. How many men? How many men? Let me count. How many men talked to me? One. Man from the side of the street. Yo, swag, hot. That was one. Two. Man with flowers walking by, standing this close to me. Hello, Miss Ma'am, you are beautiful. Happy Valentine's Day. <laughs> I'm wearing like a half top and a maxi skirt. Hello, Miss Ma'am, you are beautiful. Happy Valentine's Day. Three. There's just two, wasn't it? My favorite type of man is the one that like would stand there and stare at you and then wants to make an excuse to come talk to you. So there's one guy, we're shooting an entire look and for like 10 minutes, he's literally against a wall like this. Like watching the whole thing. What is it with these downtown men? I, they're terrible. Thumbnail. <laughs> but Frankie has become the star of my YouTube channel. Like honestly, I feel like my videos are more engaging because he's like in them. Let him smell your mouth. Ew, why? Ew, Just my breath. It. Watch like this. No, you do it. Frankie. Ew. <laughs> oh, he's not in the mood. <laughs> Normally he wants to, and then I trick him into getting really close to my mouth, and they go, Ew! He's like, stop. stop. Girl's gotta love her baby. Boy. Okay, bye guys. Bye. This past weekend, I went to the flea market, and I wanted to show you guys what I got. And at first, I was gonna be like, Bianca, clean your room before you show them that. But my honestly valid excuse is that, one, I'm on my period, and two, we're losing light. So I gotta show you guys what I got before I lose all the light, you know what I'm saying? Okay, first up, we have this little jacket. Just got this from Donnie, my favorite brand who I modeled for last week. They gifted me this, which is so cute, I wanna show you guys. This is, Donnie is where I get most of my like comfy clothes that I'm wearing in my vlogs. But look how cute this little vest is. These 501s for $25. Okay, and then I also got these blue ones. Yeah, these are super cute. So I really like them. I love a little, little messy, messy cute vibe. Cute. Mmm. Mmm. Yeah, 501s are like are the only Levi I will wear. And I'm just so glad that these actually fit. It made me really happy to find that out when I got home. I got a couple other things so I'm just not gonna share because honestly I'm tired and I don't feel like keeping going because I need to clean my room. I think I'm gonna end the vlog here. I think this was a wonderful, a wonderful few days of you guys seeing me as my raw self, you know? Um, a little chaos, a little chaos, a little, a little fun. Thank you for watching and for being here. I'll see you in the next one. Happy Valentine's Day. Um, remember to always buy yourself flowers. And even if you're in a relationship or not in a relationship, remember to pay attention to yourself. Don't abandon yourself. Love yourself and love others as well. Adios.